The making of a modern king, Prince Charles' coronation should be stripped of the Church of England and ditch feudal ties to Britain's imperial past, suggests Think Tank. Prince Charles should have a coronation stripped of its feudal elements to better represent modern Britain, a think tank has suggested. While the Queen enjoyed a lavish three-hour ceremony attended by more than 8,000, experts have suggested her heir should consider a shorter coronation with a congregation of just 2,200. The report, by University College London's Constitution Unit, suggests getting rid of hundreds of years of tradition by adding a separate non-Christian ceremony at Westminster Hall. It recommends that Prince Charles should make an oath to the people, as opposed to making three oaths to uphold Christianity. The three oaths, to the Church of Scotland, to be a faithful Protestant, and to preserve the Church of England, reflect a period of history that is now over, the report said. The report said, the UK is no longer a major international power, but it still has an international monarchy, with the Queen being head of state of 15 other countries. Accession ceremonies must include the 52 other countries in the Commonwealth, as well as the 15 realms. Even though the main ceremony would remain Anglican, the Constitution Unit suggested a separate civil ceremony would emphasize the equality and diversity of modern society. The report said, the nature of religious belief in the UK has greatly changed. Since the last coronation, processes of secularization and pluralization of belief have occurred with the result that surveys show that in Great Britain half the population now has no religious affiliation whilst the number belonging to non-Christian religions has grown to 6%. The Constitution Unit also suggested the Prince of Wales should seek advice from the Prime Minister over whether the Duchess of Cornwall should be styled as Queen, the Times reported. The report concludes that the coronation could be shorter than Queen Elizabeth's and its feudal and Eucharistic elements all require radical review. Dr. Bob Morris said, in 1953 the UK was then the head of a global colonial empire, with armed forces five times their present size, capable of mounting a procession of over 40,000 troops with attendant military bands. The UK now is a much more diverse, pluralist and secular society. The coronation needs to reflect that greater diversity. It will define not just the monarchy, but the whole nation whom the monarch is to represent. Professor Hazel added, the three statutory oaths which the new monarch must swear date originally from 1688 to 1707, when Catholic Europe was seen as an existential threat. In our more secular and pluralist society, they need to be revised and updated, but any significant revision would require fresh legislation. To be in time for the next accession, legislation would need to be passed during the present reign.